A lot of people think that the cost of the downtime is just the money. For example, usually the example that comes up in the mind is Amazon is running a big sale and during that big sale, if the downtime is happening, we won't be able to purchase the good, which is a monetary loss for the Amazon. But that is not the true part of it. A lot of applications or even organizations worry about the downtime because it also costs them their reputation. Database services are known for their uptime. If the database is not up, then obviously it's going to be a bad looking situation. So it's not just about monetary cost, it also is about a lot of online reputation or a lot of reliability. Google made their reliability just by saying, hey, if you check your internet, if it is working or not, people open up Google. And that's kind of a reliability you want to have in your application. No matter what happens, at least some part of the application is already up and running. So it's not the cost of just the money, it's the cost of the reputation, reliability and all of that. And what are the causes of these downtime? Now, you can only guess without having a proper monitoration, proper log collection and proper set of the tools like 24 by 7, you will always see that we are just guessing. It could be CPU case, it could be the memory might have been full or maybe database is having a bottleneck or might be your application code is crashing but you don't know the exact reason and which specific trigger or which specific user action has actually made the application crash. 